Hello Aries! Is it a fling or is it just a thing? We're about to find out with a deep dive into your person of interest, thoughts, feelings, and intentions about you in June. Let's take a look and see what we have. We have the first card out is Milk and Honey. Ooh, they think you are a sweet, scrumptious tidbit. And I mean that in the very best way. <laughs> Oh, they really are ready to talk to you. They're ready to take you out. They're poised for action. Very much contemplating the way that they think they should approach you. Well, that went fast. Okay. Oh, it changes in the wind. So this person, I love this card. Look at a zebra with a bird cage. It's really beautiful. So Aries, you can expect the unexpected. A change is in the wind. So now what we're going to look at first is their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and their actions. So what I have, Aries, is the thoughts, the feelings, intentions, actions, overview. Okay, so as you look at the cards, you'll know what I'm looking at. And what I see is that this person is remembering a time when you, the two of you were very, very happy together. We have the Ten of Cups. So when they think of you, they're thinking about the fact that you were very much in, in your feels with each other, that you were very tender with each other, that you were very loving with each other. Um, that it just felt right. Everything about this relationship felt right. You felt very, they felt, uh, they thought of you as a marital partner, whether you were or not, whether you lived with them or not, but they did think of you as that significant other. It's a very, very sweet energy when we look at this. So when we look at the current energy that they have, um, they feel as though you're holding them at bay. It looks as though many of you have had recent contact from this person. And when we look at this energy of the Seven of Wands, they think that you are very guarded with them, that you've sort of put them behind a wall of steel, and this person definitely wants to break through. So when they think of you, they're like, let me at that Aries. This person has great clarity about what they want with you, the key to their happiness. They feel that the key to the happiness that they've had with you is something that was diminished by behavior that was at one time in the upright, they were very dishonest with you. And what we see is their intentions are to clean up their act on their honesty. The devil card in, in a, the, the devil card energy speaks to the fact that this person and their feelings has an obsession for you. You represent something to them like the devil with the blue dress, but in this sense, it's devil with the red dress on. They find you compelling. They find you exciting. They find you interesting. They are never um, fully away from you emotionally. They always feel this very Capricornian, Saturnian, almost heavy feeling of love for you that weighs on them at times. Now we have the sweeter side of love. Queen of Cups, quite simply, they do love you, Aries. I think for many of you, you lived with this person because look at you, this is a marriage card or a buying a house together, living together, spending a lot of time together. It is a bride and groom card that's usually dancing at the wedding, but what it shows you as a four of wands is for your stability. So in their heart space, they were, they are a person who's obsessed with stability. They are obsessed with love. And with you, though, when we get the devil card, they destabilized your world because that's what the devil energy does. There's a toxicity to it. There's something about it that is, you know, it's, it's uh, well, it's a devil card. What can I say? You know, the devil made me do it. That's what I think of when I see that. So their feelings about you are very intense, intense love, that you are their best stability. You are the person that gave back, and they're still obsessed with the memories of you. When we look at the energy of their intentions, what this says to me is with the Page of Pentacles, they intend to try to get your attention. But when we look at the dandelion and the 
leaves of the dandelion are dried up and flying off. This speaks to me of an old connection that time, you know, really with time, it just it just disintegrated. But it disintegrated because this person had this habit of lying in the day, okay? So this person is now, this energy, what it means now is that they will give your relationship or connection consideration. They are going to make an offer to see you, to do something with you, to hang out with you, to go somewhere. You know, it's, it's a date card, Page of Pentacles, but it's a serious date card. But it does show me with the Page of Swords that this person's interest may be short-lived. The minute that they see another opportunity, like the leaves on a dandelion, they never seem to stick around. I don't think this person has stability in relationship. I feel like this is a core identity for them, is that they stay in this Page energy. When we look at how they feel, they love you. When we look at how they think about you, they feel like they're in prison without you, Aries, and they know that you hold the key to their happiness, but they were the person, they were the person who put themselves behind bars through their actions. They made it untenable for you when they lied to you, when they kept lying to you, when they were dishonest with you. They made it so that they couldn't unlock your heart, that you closed your, you walled them off, you put them in time out, you, you know, whatever you did, you really made it known to them that it was unacceptable what they were doing, how they were doing it. So what we see with the Four of Pentacles is this person's holding on to you. They're holding on to the memories of you. They really haven't given their heart to anyone else. Heart is where the home is, right? And so when we see the Four of Wands here, we see the home. This woman is holding this home in a miniature version in her arms. So they can't let you go. That The action is, is that they'll never really let your memory go. They're never going to really be able to fully release you. When we look at the Two of Pentacles, this person is doesn't know which action to take. They're juggling different ideas. They're uncertain. We're going to clarify the cards, of course. The Nine of Cups says that their actions are to find happiness with you. When we get the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups, those are two cards of action by loving very deeply. So let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are for this feeling of happiness and joy. <clears throat> Again, the Ten of Cups, a card of deep love, of marriage, of commitment, is met with the sort of very childish, very immature Page of Cups. This person doesn't have the, uh, the skill set to love at the deep level that you love. Um, so you are the part of the Ten of Swords that shows me that, you know, you, you really were the depth. You were the person who made them feel you know, very good about themselves, but in reality, they were a page. Here's the other energy that we have as a clarifier. I'm going to clear that, clarify this with three cards each, the Three of Swords. So they were never satisfied. No matter what they did, no matter how happy you were in a relationship with this person, they always seem to involve a third party, Ace of Swords. This is a habit. They have Ace of Swords here. They know what they want. They want love, but it also looks as though they have a very bad habit of third-party situations that has been a feature in their life, and that is a truth well-spoken. When we look at the Seven of Wands card in terms of their thoughts, they know that you aren't talking to them. They know that you may have a lot to say to them. In fact, you may really want to tell them off. The Knight of Swords is a runs with scissors card. It usually is a comment that is unkind. It usually has a very cutting way of landing. And so what we get with that energy for you, Aries, is that though you are not speaking to them a lot, they also know you have very good reason to have put them in this time out, to have distanced yourself, that you were, you know, you ran towards them, but then you ran away from them. After you told them what was on your mind, it looks like you held back for a very long time. We need one more um, clarifier for this energy. Yep, the Ten of Cups again. That, you know, at the end of the day, you were the Ten of Cups to them. 
and that you were not going to put up with being any less Aries. That's what I get. There's no way that you were going to put up with any less attention or love. You wanted somebody who was at your level, and you found someone who put you in a very painful third-party situation for which you did not deserve. You gave them lots of loyalty, lots of love. They loved you back. But clearly this toxic energy of the devil stood in the way because the toxicity is that three of swords, third party. I think for many of you that you were single and this person was single. But this seven of swords reversed is somebody who is a very beautiful, lying sort of thief energy when it's upright. It's like a snake covered by roses so you can't see the roses. So the things that you loved about the relationship veiled the fact that they came in with this very snaky energy to take what they could get before they leave. So that is a card basically of thievery. Classic meaning of the Seven of Swords. Taking advantage, using people, not being kind, you know, being nefarious, not really being willing to be on the battlefield with everybody else. You know, suffering the casualties. They want to take the good stuff and they want to run with it. And now it's reversed, so at least they're aware of it. Okay, so when we get the energy here of the Ace of Swords, we see your person wanting to come towards you very quickly. You are not letting the door be open. Look at that. You're finding this person to be annoying. Whatever they're doing, whatever is visible in the public should be hidden. What I'm seeing here is that this person, the truth of the matter is that this person is still coming. Their, their thoughts are never far away from you and loving you, but it also they have a very firm knowledge that they aren't going to really change their behavior. Because we're getting player energy, we're getting secrecy, we're getting, I don't want to hear any complaints from the complaint department, Aries, don't talk to me. And I want what I want when I want it, the way I want it, and I want you right now. So, and this is exceedingly challenging. Okay, so we do feel this person is most likely, you have milk and honey. Milk and honey describes this person as being gifted by the universe. Uh, either really good looks, great charm great everybody sees them as exotic as exciting as interesting as this person is very nurturing i do feel as though when you were with them you felt very nurtured by them that you know they were affectionate with you i feel as though you felt life was really good with them and when we get this poised you know poised for change in the wind what we're seeing here is a person we get the seven of wands again who defends themselves, they don't really engage at a really honest level. Whatever they give you with the uh, Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Wands, they're sort of like a tumbleweed. They're just rolling through the desert looking for water, so to speak. And so this person is a tough person to, <clears throat> to be in love with, okay? So... The love. Now look at all this love that they have for you. Four of Wands, the kind of love that could create marriage. The Queen of Cups is forever love. You know, but the Devil card is haunting their feelings. They're obsessed. They want something very specific in life. Seven of Swords, and they're willing to lie to get it. This is upright. This is reverse. So here we have this person still in this energy of playing games. Devil energy, playing games, not being honest. You want this, this emperor wants what they want, and they don't really worry about the next step or what the next stage of life is. You know, they're sort of like, well, it is what it is, when it is, when it is. Who, what, when, where, you know, they're always sort of rolling along in life. So let's look at this page of swords energy for you, Aries. They are so slow moving that, you know, time may run out. The sun card says that their time with you was beautiful, that they intend to spend time with you again. But if you don't respond, if you don't chase them, if you don't sort of give them what some sort of inconceivable idea of what they want, they will release you just like the leaves on the dandelion. 
when we look at the Page of Pentacles energy, they see you Aries. There you are in your reading. You are the Aries Queen. They see you as dynamic. They see you as beautiful. They see you as, you know, this is their intention. Would they like to invest? Yes, they would. But here's the problem. The Death card, they don't stick around long enough. They see you as a dear friend with this um, Seven of uh, Wands reversed. Excuse me, Seven of Swords. Uh, they know that they lied to their best friend. They know that they stole your happiness. They know that they stole your sense of security with this Taurus energy. We also see that, you know, you were ready to go the distance and they were not. And so we get this person who will not lie to you in the future. I don't see them lying to you in the future. But they will say whatever they need to say to make you feel secure, okay? Okay. So they're not going to lie. They're going to make an approach because we see the changes in the wind. But I would not make any assumptions about this person having grown up. I feel like they're still operating under the old manifestation of the devil card. I do feel as though if you get together, you'll have great fun with them. I feel as though it's an adventure. I feel as though you will keep them in the friend zone. I don't think you're going to let this person ever be an integral part of your life, okay? At one time you would have, but unless they prove that they can be loyal to you, all the intention in the world will not make a difference to you, okay? Um, you will always see them as somebody who is special, a special friend. Uh, you will always see them as a great adventure, as an exciting adventure. Um, a lot of happiness is there. You can have that same adventure in the future is what I'm seeing. Okay, so the actions this person is taking is to hold on to you. Let's get three cards here for this. Let's see what we have. Three. Okay, I'm going to cut the duck and take three. This is taking too long. Okay, there we go. So we have the tower card. They're holding on to you right up until they don't. They'll be romantic towards you right up until they disintegrate, right up until they do something that is not so kind. The Five of Swords card is like drawing first blood, right? Rambo, the movie. You drew first blood. And so this person ha is like a wrecking ball in some ways. I hate to say it like that, but this person goes through life and they behave this way with everybody, which leads me to say to you, look it. People treat us badly sometimes in love. It's not your fault. It's not your responsibility. It's yours to heal the hurt. It's yours to look out for yourself. But, you know, we have this sort of feminine, if you're a feminine energy, we tend to be held accountable for whether a relationship works or not. And it's not fair, it's not correct, and it's just really important. Aries, you have a very good sense of self-esteem, and you don't want to be juggled. This person's actions towards you means, with the two of coins, that there will always be this other person. You've already had this person with a third-party situation. Is that the three of that player energy is here. So, but we really see this person is still juggling coins. They're all about them having fun in the moment. They're all about getting whatever they can get from people. And their action, you know, their action is they're very cold when they're evaluating a lover. And let's see why they're cold. They want to be in love. We see the Queen of Cups twice. This person always juggles too. Wow, that's unusual. This person never ever allows themselves to be in a relationship where there is balance. They always, no matter how much they love somebody, because we have this you know, beautiful Queen of Cups, we have it twice, no matter how much they love somebody, they always, the Two of Coins doubles, we have the Libra Queen with the Justice card. They are always weighing and balancing and measuring what they can get, what they can take. So, you know, we put labels on these things, but, you know, I'm not going to label it. You label it however you want. But this person is all about the happiness, the joy, eat, drink, and be merry. Tomorrow we shall die. Right? Isn't that the old saying? They watch you on social media. 
This person wants to have fun with you, but they're all about the fun and not about the run. You know, they don't want to run a race. They don't want to run a marathon. They don't want to run a marathon with anybody. They want to come in and quickly, very page. This person's very mature. A lot of page activity here, a lot of it. And um, what we see is that they they like the passion. They don't want any responsibility. They do want a beautiful home, though. So if you own a home and they want to put they want to put their name on the deed, I would be very cautious. For many of you, I see this as a person who is um, someone who's looking for more than benefits. You know, we talk about friends with benefits. This person would never marry unless they were going to attain something that would give them some sort of security financially. Six of Cups shows that you will always be a soulmate. They will always be fond of you. They will always have an, an open door policy with you. So even when they're dating somebody else, even if they were engaged to somebody else, if you said, hey, let's get together and make love all night long, this person would say, hey, come on over. So Aries, I don't like the reading for you from the standpoint that this person is um, doesn't seem to have the moral fabric or fortitude that you need in relationship. What I get here is a person who's an opportunist, a person who is going to, and I feel as though you know this, in your heart of hearts you know this, it's why you left them behind, it's why you put them behind bars, it's why you basically outcast them from your life. And what we see is that this person wants you to take a leap of faith, they want you to trust them, they want you to release all your old feelings. They want you to release your old feelings about them as not being really, you know, legitimate. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I don't see you letting this go. I don't see any reason for you to let go what you know about this person. I think Maya Angelou said, if somebody tells you what they, who they are, believe them. And this person did. They see you as the exquisite lady of the forest they see you as beautiful they see you as down to earth you're exquisite to them and we have the speaker of truth aries you're blunt you don't mess around you get right to the point you're the sharp end of the spear you're the warrior spirit aries warrior spirit and everything and you are the magician you're coming in with the right elements of using your intellect and using your your earthiness your understanding of how things work so i see you in a beautiful place you're emanating goodwill warmth love everything that you want i feel as though you will manifest the love without this person in the picture. So I think for you, this has been a fling that was very painful. I feel as though you and this person will always have this incredible chemistry, but I don't think that you will trust this person ever again. Uh, you might go to bed with them, you might have fun with them, you might allow yourself the pleasures of the flesh, shall we, shall we say, but I, I just don't see you letting your guard down again. Hope you found this helpful, Aries. Leave some comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.